Hello, Douglas County citizens. Welcome to the 13th DCTV23 weekly update on COVID-19. I'm TJ Jagolinski, Assistant Director of the Communications and Community Relations Department and Station Manager of DCTV23. And I'm Communications and Media Specialist Lena Hardy. Thank you for joining us. Cobb and Douglas Public Health is issuing a public health alert due to a substantial rise in daily confirmed positive COVID-19 cases in Cobb and Douglas County. Residents are strongly encouraged to follow public health guidelines, especially as we approach the 4th of July holiday weekend. Per guidelines from the health department, we continue to encourage citizens to wear a face covering while being in public, wash hands repeatedly throughout the day, and practice social distancing to fight the spread of COVID-19. To read the full alert, go to CelebrateDouglasCounty.com. According to the state of Georgia's latest report as of July 2nd, Douglas County has 917 confirmed cases, and sadly, 36 of our own citizens have passed away due to the virus. On behalf of the chairman and the board of commissioners, we would like to send our sincere condolences to those individuals and their families during this time. The state of Georgia created a COVID-19 hotline at the beginning of this pandemic with the sole purpose to answer your questions and address your concerns related to the virus. If you have questions and wish to speak with someone directly, call the COVID-19 hotline at 844-422-2681. Remember, Cobb and Douglas Public Health has moved the testing site from Hunter Park to the Douglas Public Health Center on Selman Drive. This drive through site is free and open Monday through Saturday from 8.30 to 11.30 a.m. Also, as of July 1st, Cobb and Douglas Public Health have tested over 3,800 people. Remember, anyone can be tested regardless if they have symptoms or not. Visit cdphcovid19testing.org, and I know that's a long one, so I'm going to say it again, cdphcovid19testing.org to complete the online testing referral to make an appointment. Individuals who arrive without a pre-approved number from Cobb and Douglas Public Health will not be tested. Cobb and Douglas Public Health would also like to remind everyone that they are now doing contact tracing. Therefore, if someone is contacted by Cobb and Douglas Public Health and notified as a contact to a case, they should go to the new testing site on Selman Drive to be tested. There's a chance if you go somewhere else, it may not be free. Douglas County Commission Chairman Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones has decided to launch a new educational campaign. It's to mitigate the spread of COVID-19 by providing mass recommendations for Douglas County residents to wear a mask or face covering while in public. You should expect to see visuals from this campaign in the next 30 days on billboards and signs around the county. Douglas County School System has announced plans to safely reopen schools amid COVID-19, with the first day of school being August 10th. Also, the school system has provided three options for the new academic year. For full details, go to dcssga.org. District 1 Commissioner Henry Mitchell III and District 3 Commissioner Terenia Carthen are hosting a free food giveaway tomorrow, July 3rd, starting at 2 p.m. at the American Legion Post 145 located off Veterans Memorial Highway. Due to COVID-19 restrictions, all citizens must remain in their cars. For more information on this event, contact Tamara Mitchell at tmitchell at co.douglas.ga.us. As we continue to navigate through this coronavirus pandemic, the Douglas County Commission Chair, Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones, wishes to remind citizens of the importance of wearing a face covering when in public. While an increase in testing does result in more positive tests, there is an evidence of community spread. There has been a noticeable decline in people wearing masks as the coronavirus pandemic continues. So please follow state, public health, and CDC guidelines to help in the slowing of the spread of the virus. Douglas County citizens, please remain informed and follow our daily updates on CelebrateDouglasCounty.com, Douglas County Happenings Facebook page, and our DCTV23 Facebook page. Thank you for watching. See you next time.